hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so we'll be quickly looking at uh, implicit differentiation and so what's that all about so implicit differentiation is a differentiation of an implicit function and so we we'll need to look at what an implicit function is and here i define that an implicit function is a function that contains two variables in which one cannot be written as an x it cannot be written explicitly in terms of the other for instance, you recall that we write functions this way, y as a function of x. That means y is explicitly written in terms of x. For instance, y equal to 2x. Of course, this is an example of an explicit function. So but when you have a function where there are two variables and one cannot be written or would be difficultly written uh, in terms of the other, you say that that is an implicit function. This is an example. For instance, you can look at this. This is uh, uh, an, the equation, an equation of a circle. So it's actually possible but difficult to write y in terms of x here. But there are other examples here like this. You can't separate x and y. And this is another example here, the third one. You cannot separate x and y. For instance, if you take, uh, the first thing you will need to do here is to take uh, the cos inverse of both sides. And if you do that, the cos inverse will cover this y. So it will be difficult to bring out this y and separate it. So in every case, you would have your x and y written together. So we call that an implicit function. And so how do we differentiate them? So you are going to differentiate each term in that function with respect to x. And of course, you always recall that y in itself is already a function of x. And so whenever you're differentiating y, you are going to be applying the function of function rule. That's the chain rule, uh, okay? And the easiest way to do that is just differentiate it the normal way you differentiate x, and then you attach dy dx to it. We're going to see that. All right, so let's begin with this example. It says that we should differentiate this. If this is equal to this, we should find the value of dy dx. Okay, so now, and we said that the method is differentiate every term here with respect to x. So if we differentiate x squared with re respect to x, we are going to get 2x. We differentiate two y squared with respect to x. Remember what I said? You are going to differentiate it like it is x, and then you will now attach the y dx to it. So if we differentiate this as x, we are going to have 2y, and then we are going to attach the y dx to it. So, um, and then minus, if we differentiate this, we'll have 6. We differentiate this we're going to have 8 but then because there is y there we attach the y dx and then finally this is a constant if you differentiate it you have 0 this is also a constant if you differentiate you will have 0 so after you've done this step the next step is to collect the terms having the y dx and let the rest terms go to the other side of the equation and so if we do that here we are going to have 2y All right, so at this point, all we need to do is to now factorize the y dx here. And to do that, we are going to have 2y minus 8. Now, all multiplied by dy dx, we are bringing this out. It's now equal to, so to get our dy dx, all we need to do now is to divide both sides by 2y minus 8. This will take away this. Therefore, our dy with respect to x is equal to you can actually stop here and you can also decide to factorize 2 out if i bring out 2 here i'm going to have 2 into 3 minus 2 x sorry minus x alone and then under here i'm going to have 2 into y minus 4 okay so if this cancel the two cancel out your answer will now be 3 minus x all over y minus 4. So in that ways, uh, that's the solution. Okay, look, let's quickly look at example 2. So for the second example, we are going to take the same approach. All you need to do is uh, differentiate all that you have here. And so if we differentiate x squared, we'll have 2x. If we now look at this case, now this is a different case. Now this is a product, a product of x and y. So you are going to treat it as a product. And so in this case, we are going to call 2u our, sorry, 2x our u, and then we'll call y our v. Remember the formula for product. 
which says that you have u dv plus uh, v du uh, okay so and uh, in this case we start so what is our u our u we said should be 2x now dv means differentiate y and if you differ remember if you differentiate x usually you get one now if you differentiate y remember i said you should differentiate it like x and then attach dy dx so if you differentiate y like x you have one if you then multiply by dy dx so you will just get only dy dx so that means this is going to give us 2u times dv meaning differentiating y here we are just going to have dy dx here then plus our v which is y we bring it down multiply by du and du is a derivative of 2x and if you differentiate 2x you get only 2 and then so we are done with this so we come over here if we differentiate this remember 3 will be on its own so if you differentiate y squared you are going to get 2y and that 2y multiplying 3 let me write it this way 3 multiplying 2y then remember you differentiated y so you attach dy dx to it and this is going to be equal to if you differentiate one you will have what zero so and like i said here we are going to gather the ones containing dy dx so that's going to give us 2x dy dx of course this is going to be 6y plus 6y dy dx and that is equal to bringing everything here you have minus 2x and this one will be 2y also so if it comes here it becomes minus 2y so if we factorize here we are going to have 2x plus 6y into dy dx all equal to we can bring out minus 2 and that's going to give us uh, minus 2 into x plus y okay and so we divide both sides by this if we do that we are going to have we are going to have that only dy dx will be left and that will be equal to and here we can also factorize 2 and if we do that we are going to have minus 2 into x plus y all over if we bring out 2 here we'll have x plus 3y okay and then these two will cancel these two therefore our answer is our dy dx as requested is equal to and that is uh, the solution and so finally we'll look at the last example here this example says that uh, we should find the y dx to differentiate or to find the y dx we are going to differentiate each term here so we're beginning with this side remember this now is a function of function so we are going to let the one inside be u let our x minus y be equal to u and so that means what we we'll have here will be cos u okay and so if we differentiate so we are going to have cos u now as the as the function here let maybe we should call that function h okay so now if we want to differentiate this side now that means our dh over dx here is going to be dh over du times du over dx okay so remember i'm still dealing with the left hand side and so what is dh du that's differentiation of this which is minus sine u all right and then what is our du dx that means differentiating this one with respect to x so we we'll differentiate x with respect to x and that's going to give us one minus we differentiate y with respect to x remember i said it will give you one but you now multiply with dy dx which will just give you dy dx here okay and so uh, that's the whole of this the differentiation of this with respect to x okay so let me use is giving us so and that is now equal to so we come over to this side you can see that this side is a product okay so what do we do here we call this our u and call this one our v and so we are going to use u dv plus v du so what is uh, our u y we differentiate v that's going to give us cos x plus what is our v sine x we differentiate u which is y and that will give us dy dx okay so we bring down this here so we have y cos x plus 
sin dy sorry sin x times dy dx okay so what's the next step gather everything that contains dy dx so okay we've not opened this bracket if we do that we are going to have remember to replace this u if we replace it we are going to have minus sin x minus u sorry minus y multiplying one that will give us the same thing then minus minus sine times minus will give us plus so it will now be plus sine x minus y then dy dx here we multiplied this by this and then this is equal to y cos x plus sine x dy dx okay and so what do we do here now so if we now collect like terms we are going to have that uh, sine that's this one x minus y dy dx then this one coming over will become negative sine x dy dx and that is equal to y cos x is here already and then bringing this one to this side will now become plus sine x minus y all right so at this point we now factorize here and if we do that we are going to have sine x minus y minus this one sine x alone then we are multiplying it by dy dx because we are factorizing it out all right and so this is going to be equal to the whole of this which is uh, y okay so at this point we divide both sides by this uh, so if we do that we are just going to have that our dy dx alone is equal to y cos x and that is the solution so if we take uh, the steps carefully we are definitely going to get our answer so all you need to do is in each case identify the type of function you have whether it's a product a quotient a, for a chain rule whatever and then follow the process the process is differentiate each term with respect to x and then make dy dx the subject of the formula okay and so that's where we will end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel please like and share our youtube videos you can always see links to related videos to this concept uh, in our description below you know videos talking about quotient rule talking about chain rule talking about product rule and the rest of them see you in our next video bye